seems to turn it off. It's transient and it's evasive. Or the uh, Thousand Oaks. And so, gotten well, I'm not talking about other people, I'm just talking about yeah, my experience. Yeah, I know, I'm just, so yeah. that's what I'm like, they're gonna get crazy again. Can we go downstairs? Or? Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll have a problem. I, oh, sorry. Sorry. I don't think I'll have a problem with my head here. A little too, you know, close. <laughs> I'm the only one who doesn't have a problem. I got into bed, walked in, turned off the light. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it was like, you know, you can hear mm -hmm. it. Clicked yeah. off, got in bed, laying there, and all of a sudden, click. Try to get some moth patrol in here. Mm -hmm. Wow. You got leaky, uh, you got bad wiring in here. Really? Look at, watch. My see here, see, 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 see how weak it is? Oh. Wow. Ooh. This is leaking circuits. I mean, there's wirings bad or open Can connections. Yeah. Mm. See, is that's... Dangerous? Well, it just it's not healthy for anybody to have. That means there's 60 cycle. This is 60 cycle magnetic noise coming out of here. Hmm. Let's see if we got any. Julie, tell me what's been happening in here. Anything? Or just <laughs> well, over here, this is where um, the man appeared to, to Jake. Over, he was sleeping in this chair, and he was supposedly standing right here by the window. And then um, the light switch has flipped on. But a lot of times, the lights will dim off and on, and Jamie says they're power surges. It's well, on, if you also you have, if you have uh, bad you know, wiring, who knows? it will happen. Exactly. So yeah. we may have, but this, I, I've also smelled a lot of different things in this room. I smelled smoke as if somebody's been smoking. I smelled it in the closet. I'll walk in there. We mm -hmm. don't smoke at all. Never have people mm -hmm. in here who smoke. Um, have smelled a man. I don't, you know, just a big man smell like he's been working outside. Musty, sort of, or like just sweaty. Sweaty man. Mm -hmm. You know, even when he's not home. No, it's not Jamie. It's just a man smell. I'll walk through, like, right about where you're standing. And I'll go, ugh. It's a man smell. And I'll say, get out. Mm -hmm. It's my bedroom. Because <laughs> you're doing a honey yard dash upstairs. Exactly. <laughs> what do you get, Barry? It's, like, it's almost like there's something moving around the room. It comes and it goes. It comes and there's nothing. See, it. there's nothing... Then suddenly it'll get it'll right will go up and it'll go down, but nothing really high. If there's anything here now, it's not. Sorry. Let's see. Sorry, I'm scared. Mm. No, it won't start a fire. I doubt it. Just that it's it's, le it's just leaking a lot of energy. Oh. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> scared me when he moved. Something's out here. Come on. Oh, no, it's gone now. Do you hear something? Oh, well, it's we get a lot animals. of deer. We had and, four and, uh, baby deer out here the other day. Yeah. It's cute. Skunks and stuff. Well, I don't want them climbing in. Well, wildlife out here, huh? A ton. This is more from electronic devices, but it's usually if you want to see if both of them pick up the same thing. Thank uh -huh. 
something in here. I'm going to pan back this way. Yeah, if, anything, if anything would show up, this camera will pick it up beautifully. It's very high resolution. How long will it take for you to see? Is it instant? Uh, yeah, I can play it back right away, actually. <laughs> cookies. <laughs> those are great cookies. You got me addicted to those. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Really, really good. You can take the rest. Oh, I'm... Is there more in the kitchen? Mm -hmm. I'm fine. But that's just taking some general shots. You never know. Shot it. Oh, and go. Okay. Sweater was left on the floor like this, like she had taken it off, and then it lifted up like this and fell back down slowly, just like that. What did it? What did it seem like when that happened? I mean, it wasn't. It didn't look natural, did it? Well, no, because it was very slow. It wasn't. As if it collapsed on itself. It was slowly lifting. Long enough for Jamie to call my attention to it and then say, Julie, look at the sweater. And then just like that. Boop. Jamie, tell me what you saw there with the. Tell me what your version of the young one was, real quick. Oh, identical. It, it unfolded itself in a manner that was. My car, uh, my car died. It was not and wound up. It, you know what? I, have, like, not I can't explain it. It. it by itself, it so half of it turned. Uh, it unfolded itself. That's best I could explain. I could. I don't know if I could reenact it because I don't remember the exact positioning of the uh, sweater. You said you were pretty skeptical before all this. Very skeptical. I still am. Skeptical. <laughs> I don't have an answer yet, so I'm still skeptical. What's been your reaction when you saw that? What did you think? Uh, surprised. And uh, amazed, but kind of enthused at the same time because it was kind of fun. Uh, wanted to see it again, actually. What do you think's in the house? What, you, what is your gut feeling? What's going on here? I honestly do not know. I just know what it's not. I don't know what it is. And uh, I think one day, one day. Through life or death, I don't know, but I think one day I'll find out. Good day. Take me in and show me about the toys. Was playing, or it was right here? You know, I don't even have the toy anymore. It was like an infant toy that turned on. But it was just in here. The toys will just start playing. Like, this has not started. This has not. But it would be just as if somebody pushed the button and started playing. And someone was playing. Hold on. Bye bye. And, and the toys were turned off when that happened. Yes. It was. I may have the toy somewhere. Yeah. Off. And the switches would flip and start to play. What was your reaction when you saw that? Well, it took. It was. Uh, it's happened a few times while I'm looking at the toy, and I just, you know, you get that <laughs> fight or flight syndrome, you know, where mm. your skin gets all goosebumpy and you just ah, turn it off and move on, and tell Jamie, "Go turn it off. I'm not going near it. I'm not going near it. I don't go near the toys." <laughs> An intellectual. Yeah, with brain. Yeah. yeah, so it was me. And uh, I was shocked. I was like, Judith, this is amazing. I just went through all my daughter's clothes. So don't get this. It's right? okay. <laughs> I just took out all the stuff that doesn't fit anymore. It's okay. okay. It's this right. is the sign that was leaning like this. And it was le it's always leaning like this. And we walked out the door, and as I'm walking outside towards the driveway, I heard something fall. I didn't want to drop it because Hank will wake up. But when I heard it fall, and when I 
it makes a really loud noise. And when I looked through the window, I saw it on the ground. So I brought it back up. Later that evening, I came back in here. I was washing my face in the sink, and it this candle was not here. It just flew like this on the floor again. It scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Jamie came running in. Oh my God, what's going on? Da -da -da. So it's not as if it, you know, felt like that. It literally fell onto the floor. Did that really surprise you? Huh? Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Julie, what do you think's in the house? Do you have any opinion on it? What do you, from your experience, what do you think could be in here? I don't know. And I. it's almost like I don't let myself really think anything because it would scare me too much. I just know it's something that likes playing with us, maybe startling us a little bit. I don't know. I hope it's nice. <laughs> I don't know. So, just so we have a record of it. Okay, we just heard, what, footsteps coming from the kitchen area, we think. Well, some kind of noise, I don't know if it was footsteps. Footsteps or some kind of cracking sound? Yeah, like someone moving in here. Explain, so what, we, explain what just happened. Um, we I heard a sound from here that sounded like someone was in here, like something moving, or a noise, or I don't know what it was, but it was definitely coming from in here, or just at the doorway. Say that one more time. Uh, while sitting in the living room, and talking to uh, Julie and Jamie, we heard what sounded like a rather distinctive noise coming from the kitchen or the hallway leading out of the kitchen. And yet, upon entering the kitchen, there's no indication of anything unusual going on here. No magnetic readings of any type. Nothing. No, it's pretty normal. I don't feel anything in here. here. No. It could be wood or heat build up from the day and then as it yeah. contracts at night it pops. Yeah. It I've be. always chalked up certain noises to those mm -hmm. things. Um, it's the it's the, the noises mm -hmm. with rhythm. 
Yeah. And noises yeah. don't do any much because if you're not there to see what makes the noise, you can't do anything about it. It's just, you know. Say it again, Jamie. What'd you say? You think it might be contraction over there of the wood? Well, I've always chalked it up to there's a, there's a few skylights in the, in the kitchen that as it cools in the night, there's a contracting of the plastic or wood or metal or whatever it is in there. I've always, I, I know that noise. I've, so when you heard it, I thought, well, that to me, that was a normal noise. Mm -hmm. So that's all, that's all it may really be, is, you know, yeah. once you're there when it happens. Yeah, but that's far from the normal noise, is yeah. that why we're sitting here today? Mm -hmm. yeah. Julie, do you think this stuff has any personal relationship to you? I mean, or do you take it personally in any way, or it's affecting you in some personal way, or? I don't know. Sometimes, um, you know, my mom and I are very close and we used to, you know, we watched the talk shows and all that stuff. And we always had this pact that if something weird were ever to happen to either one of us, we would, we swore that we would believe the other person. And so I've just always had this sick fascination with this stuff, you know, constantly watching shows about ghost stories. And so part of me, questions if maybe I didn't invite this to happen. Well, why now or, versus a year ago or five years ago? Or I don't know. Ago. I always thought weird stuff. No, it doesn't. You know, just, I mean, I always... I mean, people, there are a lot of, there are millions of people who are intrigued by this stuff and obsessed with it, but they don't necessarily have the experiences just because of their interest level. So, just, you know... Is it, I mean, is it possible for it... I don't know. I mean, so, look at the fire. I had to guess... If I had to make What's it... You, I mean, what, why would you ask the question? Just... Do you feel that? No, I'm just curious because you seem to be, it seem at some level you seem to be threatened by this per, at a very intense level. Um, as if like it's affecting you in a very profound way, more than just the fact that it's here. Uh, yeah, I think you did definitely hit that on the head. I just, um, it bothers me when I don't feel comfortable in my own home. Mm -hmm. um, how about the time Until we were camping in Mexico when we were in college? This is in 1989. But this has... No, no, no. It, it's, the, well, I'm, it's, it's the same feeling. We were camping exactly. in Mexico yeah, okay. on a beach, nobody around for quite a while. And we just decided, we were in the tent, it's night, we're both laying down. We both decided it was time to get up and leave and go home. And we did that, and it was a feeling of discomfort. Mm -hmm. Something was wrong, something was not right. We both decided to pack it up, and within five minutes, we were back in the car and going back home. We had no intentions of doing that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It was a feeling. And that's the same feeling you get, maybe not to that same degree, but you can see it on your face and lead you from a mile away. That when you're not comfortable with it, and, and I, and I, especially in your own. When I was pregnant with my daughter, I felt like there was somebody behind me always, mm -hmm. just hovering. But that was not a bad feeling. But it wasn't a bad feeling. And like I said, I chalked it up to it's my grandma watching out for me. She didn't love me when she was alive. Maybe she does now. It wasn't a bad feeling. The last few weeks have just, I don't know, it just bothers me. I don't. I just don't feel normal. I feel like I'm being watched. I've, I don't ever feel alone. And I just, it, I hate that, that I'm in my house. And, and even when I'm here with my kids, oh, it's not just us. And you know what, great, be here, don't make a sound, whatever, but don't, startle me when I'm in the bathroom, you know, someone's behind me and I turn around and it's nobody there. And I'm <laughs> in the bathroom going, go away from me, I'm sick of you being here. And Jamie's looking at me going, what are you talking about? You know, who are you talking to? Settle down, settle down. And part of me still says, you're overreacting. I know that I get paranoid, <laughs> maybe. I know that sometimes I can be dramatic and Sometimes I can overreact and and be frightened of noises that mean absolutely nothing. But 
I think that I do have a keen sense of people being around me, of when to do things, when not to do things, and I've had incidents in my past where I knew to get out of situations, and I got out, and I've been proven that it was that I did the right thing. So I think that I do have maybe some sort of extrasensory perception as to what's going on around me in my environment, and this is telling me that it's just not normal. Well, and if you could do, if you could flip a switch or push a button, what would you do to change it? I'd make it go away. I just want it to be. I can't explain. I, I don't know if I can explain this correctly, but the day I brought home Hank, the last baby, a little over a year ago, I came <coughs> here. Bless you. It was 4th of July. Jamie took the kids out to see the fireworks. I was sitting here on the couch with the baby. He was two days old. The house was going crazy. Noises everywhere. Not just, like, not just like those noises. Just from all over, all the rooms. And the air felt thick. It just felt thick. I don't, I don't know if that no, makes know, any sense to you at all. It makes very good sense, yeah. It just felt mm -hmm. thick. But it wasn't a negative feeling. Mm -hmm. It was just, he walked in the house and I said, they're back. They're back. And, like I said, I didn't really think anything negative because I have been brought up to believe that we have, you know, our, our loved ones who have passed on can come and visit you. And I, I just kept, I continuously say to myself, it's, and which is what I say to the kids when weird things happen, it's the angels watching out for us. It's grandma, it's grandpa, it's my grandma and grandpa, it's grandpa Tina, whoever. I just try and turn it into something positive so that I don't go crazy. But, but I'm kind of at the point right now where I am. It's starting to really get to me. But it seems like it's affecting you deeper. There's something else. Like you're, it seems like you're worried about something. I am. No, but the bug. 